Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. This is Professor H with another networking video and we are on to part three of our introduction to OpenFlow and we're working our way through the message types. So just by way of review, uh, we were talking through the, the three different kinds of message that we have in OpenFlow and we talked about controller to switch and we went through the basic TCP handshake that we have in our uh, SDN topology. Uh, and I got myself sort of turned around here. I have, it's been a little while since I, I posted a video on this, and so I jumped ahead to symmetric for this one, so we'll come back to asynchronous. Uh, the important thing that I want you to remember for today, though, is that uh, we have the controller is at 1.1, and the open flow switch is at uh, 1.2. So remember that you tell the switch where the controller is, and then they spin up a connection between them, uh, and then they exchange controller to switch messages over that open flow channel. And now today we're going to uh, chat just a little bit about uh, symmetric messages. Turns out there aren't a whole lot of them, but at the very beginning of the open flow connection is actually a, a symmetric type. So without further ado, here we go. Symmetric. Really, there's just a couple of flavors. Again, remember that we're looking at uh, version 1.3 of the specification. And the most important message for us uh, in the symmetric category is the hello. It's the type 0. Hey, it's the very first one. Uh, there's absolutely no message body associated with the, the hello, which means that there's nothing that the, the devices are trying to tell each other, just saying, hey, I'm out there. Now, we see this kind of message in all kinds of protocols. Even routing protocols have a, a hello message. Spanning tree has a hello message. So it's just this sort of, hey, listen, I'm alive and well. I'm still out there. Could you tell me if you're alive and well out there? Oh, great, I see your hello. Hey, we're both alive and well. Now, another message type is the echo request and reply. I don't have one of those captured for you, but it's just like it sounds. You might use it to effectively ping back and forth between the controller and the switch. Uh, you might use it to check performance values. So you might be looking at bandwidth or latency or something of that sort. Uh, proof of life, we do pings all the time. We send ICMP echo requests, so you might send OpenFlow echo requests back and forth as proof of life as well. Now, the OpenFlow protocol is expanding. Uh, the Open Networking Foundation and vendors are coming up with new ideas, new features, and new uh, versions of the specification. And so there are these experimenter message types that you can use as well. And so if an experimental message is being used, it's, it might not be, it might not actually be part of the specification. So somebody just might actually use that code. Now we see this sort of behavior in other message types. You could create your very own ICMP message, for example, put your own type and your own code there. And if the switches and, and routers and hosts that you're using are told what those types and codes mean, then they'll understand them. Otherwise, nobody else will. If the devices on the network don't understand the experimental message that you're trying to use, then you generate an error message as a result, saying, hey, listen, you just tried to do this uh, thing with me, and uh, I don't know or I don't understand it, so here's the error message in response to your message. So just as a reminder, this is our initial packet list. Now I included the, the packet numbers here. So packet 7 is going to be that connection between the switch and the controller. So the switch is going out trying to find the controller, doing that TCP, SYN, and then coming back with the SYN, ACK, and then ACK. Standard TCP behavior. And then we see the first highlighted open flow message. So if you're viewing this in color, Hopefully you can see that that's the light blue, that's the one that I've highlighted. And we see that down underneath there in frame number 10. And hey, guess what? That is our open flow hello message, type 0. And that's it, you're looking at it. That's the entire thing. There is nothing else in here except for the open flow header. And if you remember uh, way back when we, we talked about messages initially, it's really just version, type, length, and then an ID that goes along with it in case there's a response. And that's it. That's our hello message, our asymmetric, or I'm sorry, our symmetric hello message from the OpenFlow message types. 
Well, a short little video today. I, I, I got to apologize. I forgot about the asymmetric types. I uh, went back and was looking at the stuff after I made this set of slides for you. And we'll touch on those uh, next time. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if I helped you out or if you're enjoying the videos. And hey, may your packets always reach their destinations.